As we continue on our endeavor to find out who we are, I think these core questions are especially important right now coming out of this last year. We really need to discern. We need to figure out what the truth is. Everything got turned upside down. And there was a saying, if you saw it on CNN, was it true? Well, there's a lot of awakenings we've had over the last year. There's still a lot that still need to wake up, but at least we're further down the path. But part of that wake up is realizing who we are, where we came from. Part of that is, is there a God? Is that a capital G or small g? Who is the God of planet Earth? And here we are back to the circle of what's in our skies. Time and time again, it's reported that there are objects in our skies that are not identifiable. They're not identifiable by Black Ops projects, by military, or those who are now beyond NDAs and are speaking out. There is an understanding that within Black Ops organizations, they're a good 30 to 50 years ahead of technology released today. And of course, the military is far beyond that. A lot of it is so secretive, we will not even hear about in our lifetimes. And yet even those within top organizations retire and speak out and said there's a number of items in our skies that are not from Earth. So many of us will put our head in the, gro in the ground. We weren't taught this in school. We weren't taught it in university. We've heard it in passing. At best, it's a conspiracy. But is it? After the year we just came out of, it's time to wake up. If you don't think anybody's talking about it, if you don't think it's real, if you think that this is just a conspiracy, I think your head's in the sand. And for those of you that are on the path with me, there's a variety of options to start digging and learning because of the big drop we're expecting next month. So let's get started here on inverse.com science UFO report June 2021. Why is the Pentagon releasing a UFO report anyway? The truth may soon be out there. People anticipating the release of the upcoming government report on unidentified aerial phenomena. Remember, we always called it UFOs. UFO doesn't mean something alien or from out of space. That just means identified by its nature. Now, remember when H. Clinton came out and said that there was a new term for this, a, a UAP. And here we have it, unidentified aerial phenomenon change a different name, it doesn't really matter what's in our skies. Are we safe? Are they benevolent? Are they malevolent? Former Director of National Intelligence, John Ratcliffe, said in an interview that a report would contain information on difficult to explain sightings. In an interview this month with Fox News, Ratcliffe said, we are talking about objects that have been seen by Navy or Air Force pilots or have been picked up by satellite imagery that frankly engage in actions that are difficult to explain, movements that are hard to replicate, that we don't have a technology for, or are traveling at speeds that exceed the sound barrier without a sonic boom. Let's pause here. We're not talking about somebody on the side of the road with a, a analog camera. We're not talking about some expert with a high level digital camera, which still is on a great path. We're talking about actual individuals who are trained in the skies, in aviation equipment. They know what limits we have. And they're stating this is beyond limits known to Earth. The Pentagon report is set to be released on June 1st. Hey, want to bet there's a delay? But anyways, June 1st is a deadline that we've known for over 180 days. As conversations around UFO sightings swarm the internet, Inverse breaks down what to expect from the upcoming report and how to separate facts from fiction. Five, what is this UFO report going to show? So the report will include available data and intelligence reportings on UAPs. Four, when is the UFO report being released? When Trump approved the spending package on December 27th, here's that 180 days I just mentioned, there was a 180 day countdown that began giving surveillance officials until June to deliver lawmakers the write up. Now we'll see, there'll be a lot blacked out. There'll be a lot of games played. And, and from what I hear, there's a lot of, of corporations, individuals and Congress trying to squash the report altogether. Why won't we just learn the full truth? Senate Intelligence Committee's report 
um, is also included. Three, what media is going to be in the UFO report? Here's a, a list, uh, here's the video of the Pentagon's three declassified UFO videos that were taken by US Navy pilots. They were released, pulled back, released again, and blown off as conspiracy. And yet this was a revelation. This would not have been released without the approval of the Navy and the Department of Defense. There is something out there that's unexplainable. By releasing the videos, the Pentagon declassified the footage and made it officially available to the public, but didn't publicly speculate on the nature of the strange craft seen in the video. Ratcliffe says in an interview that there are a lot more sightings than have been made public. Adding that, some of those have been declassified. So you can look into to this. Number two, why is the UFO report so difficult to explain? Really? Not so difficult. Let's go back to the facts. We've all known that there's some kind of um, issue since in uh, Area 51, a conspiracy came out, and yet um, we were all so silly. They were just weather balloons in the sky. Number one, will the UFO report admit there are aliens? Well, here's where it gets tricky. The report has not been released yet, and online alien enthusiasts are already rejoicing that this is a big one where proof of extraterrestrial life will finally be released to the public. But that may still be difficult to prove, even if footage showing unidentified flying objects is released to the public. The report will not likely pin down a source for these events. All right, there you go. So we're just around the corner. We're about three weeks away from this. So let's let's kind of go back on a timeline right here. First of all, December 16th, 2017 was a big day in history. The New York Times was finally allowed. Now they had tried to print this and release this many times over the years and last minute stories got pulled back. On December 16th, 2017, the New York Times was finally allowed and had the privilege and pleasure of exposing a US, a secret US a UFO program. So at this point, they admitted that the United States within the Pentagon as one specific location is in fact investigating UFOs. Now, before that, we've had Blue Book, we've had a number of different programs, and most of it when, when crash sites are um, have recovery objects, it's given to private companies. And we all know that if you give an information, if you give the resources to a private company, it's no longer discoverable under FOIA. It's a way to get around it. You give them grants and funds to develop, and yet you maintain NDAs and secrecy. Thus, the government can continue to grow without having to tell its people the truth. I grow the research and development R&D without telling the people it's truth. Um, so then there's a disclaimer here, but at least it was a first step. And of course, the news source was brought by Luis Alizondo, a former military intelligence officer claimed to have run the secret program from 2007 to 2017, when he uh, resigned over a protest of excessive secrecy and internal opposition. So that was December 2017. Then, of course, we had Trump come in and say that we we are announcing a space force and how it will fit into the US military. Now this I pulled up because it refers to December 2019, Trump signed the defense bill authorizing the creation of the space force as a sixth branch of the United States Army. But you and I both know that bingo, this is August 2019. In August of 2019, President Trump did the big ceremony in the Rose Garden and he announced the official establishment of the US Military Space Command. And he introduced the leader of the Space Command, what this would look like um, moving forward and how it would fit into the military as a sixth force. Now, you and I also who have gone down this path and studied understand that this was the announcement of the Space Force. This was not the creation of the Space Force. We have had the Space Force for decades. It's primarily been tucked under the Navy However, uh, there's there's other breakouts as well with uh, within other military groups, but we have been off planet. The big tech companies are also off planet. And in fact, um, this was just announcing as part of paving the way that we are not alone. They kind of mocked it. 
more than making a big deal of it. And here again is August 2019 in the Rose Garden where Trump administration submitted a proposal for the Space Force to Congress earlier that year. And he was shaking hands with the individual um, who he's assigned uh, to head the Space Force. Okay, so let's go into here. UFOs are real, feds cover up ruled by fear. They say that it's too much for us to handle. It's a fear. Well, look at the mass manipulation on this planet. What is more fearful, to learn about a truth or to know that something is out there and it's being hidden from you and worse, so whatever's being hidden from you is part of a mass manipulation? I'll take the truth, thank you. Ex-Pentagon boss, so this refers to Luis Elizondo. This was April 30th, 2021. So this was just a few days ago about a week ago, is a former intelligence officer for the Department of Defense who claims he was in charge of the Pentagon's unclassified division devoted to investigations um, of USOs. And so uh, he's again paving the path. It's coming out. It's coming out. Here we have from April of 2021, UFOs are real. This is the article. And he's known now as a whistleblower rather than uh, just telling the truth. So there's more information here. Um, recalling the, a revelatory instant when he recognized that UFOs were bona fide controversial um, individual here, which not. Um, Lou Elizondo explicitly told the Post it was a moment. Oh my gosh, it's real. Now we have to do something about it. So what do we need to do about it? Elizondo was part of a program within the Pentagon itself, specifically within the Pentagon, and known as Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, AATIP, AATIP. Now, why is this important? If you don't know who's in your skies, how can you protect yourself? And if it is another military, why are they in our skies? If it's not our military, and if it's not another military on this planet, then who and why? So here's more on Pentagon will declassify USO, UFO sightings in June of 2021. Mike um, Agliamore inexplicably sightings of unidentified flying objects will be released for public scrutiny is what they're referring to in June. Believe me, there's gonna be a lot around this. We have also known for Many years we've been warned that in fact, there will be a, a display of force in the skies and it will be made to look like UFOs representing UFOs that are of, of the universe, not of earth. However, in fact, the big display will actually be to drive fear and will be manipulated via the military or in this case, the DS that we've learned so much about over the last few years. So to a warning, heads up, educate yourself now on truth and reality so you have the discernment. So here we are again. Why is the Pentagon releasing a UFO report anyways? After a year of lies and lockdowns, why now? So many people will say that there is no truth to this because if there is, why didn't we learn about it in schools? Why don't people talk about it? I never hear anything about it. This can't be true. It's just a conspiracy and it's brushed off. Well, I'm going to spend the rest of the time here saying there are a lot of people talking about. It. There are entire conferences that gather and discuss this on a very, very serious level. And there are a whole series of movies and shows around educating you, opening your mind, and going beyond any level of entertainment, but presenting the truth. As you move deeper and deeper down what this might be called as a rabbit hole, the truth is truly stranger than fiction. So the first one I pulled up here is David Wilcock and all of his studies over the years. Of course, you can find him directly on his uh, divinecosmos.com website. Then we have uh, Corey Good. He stated he's part of the 20 and back program as a project solar warden. Now, when his ideas first came out, even to David Wilcock, David, really had to vet him as time has moved back on there's there's quite a bit of information that's coming from Corey good but more important than that is youtube had censored videos starting primarily about three or four years ago was was a main sweep that kind of happened silently people were asking about shadow banning it wasn't necessarily released at that time 
However, a lot of accounts quietly disappeared at that point. What's interesting is now that that um, YouTube and Google are, are having to go before Congress, a lot of those sites are being um, opened up again. Uh, the videos are being handpicked and being released, and yet the creators are not even notified that their accounts are being uh, started up. However, it, out of those searches, you're going to start to find a lot of the puddle, puzzle pieces that Corey Good has spoken about. There's a woman on there who states that that she was uh, raised off planet and everything she went through as a growth and mental conditioning, kind of like an elephant tied to a, a chain that shrunk down to a, a small um, string to hold it. She realized that this was her life. There was nothing she could do. And she was a pilot flying humans from this planet off, off planet. There's a number of other individuals who are starting to come forward. Michael Jacko is one of them. And there's other core groups that are speaking out, both male and female, who are vetting that through hypnosis and, and something that is piercing the veil right now, they're getting their memories back. And all the different puzzle pieces that Corey Good has laid out are starting to come together one by one by looking back in history at various um, YouTube uh, posts that have, had, had been erased about three or four years ago. They're all starting to come forward again. So on this list here, we've got Nick Pope, um, Buzz Aldrin, and uh, Tom DeLong are some of the core that have spoke out in this direction. And um, Buzz, yep, as an astronaut, a lot of information there. Who else do we have? One of the insiders was Pete Peterson and all that um, all the information that he realized, he served the United States Air Force pilot during the Vietnam War and spent six years as a prisoner of war in Vietnam. It's my understanding that when he came back, he was a high, high level within the Navy on a top secret project. Let's see if it, it goes into that here. Um, you know, so it was a US Air Force and um, 26 years, he goes through story after story. Unfortunately, he passed uh, via very odd circumstances that were not the truth uh, just a few years ago. I, I believe that was in uh, summer of 2019, but I could be incorrect. Does this even show that? Um, so anyways, a, a very suspect um, of what happened to this gentleman, but a lot of wealth of information was revealed from from him. Also, we had Bob Lazar, of course, that came out early on with Area 51 and flying saucers. Boy, this man was made fun of. And yet from every different direction that they vetted him, the story seemed to line up. Who else do we have here? We have Linda Moulton Howe. Of course, she's a, a just a phenomenal reporter. On Wednesdays, I believe she still does it, every Wednesday she does about a 90-minute, two-hour live report on planet Earth and always goes into subjects that are slightly unexplained. We also have, let's see if this is in here right now, if we can get more information on here. We also have this individual that I didn't pull up before, Missing411. There's videos on YouTube. You can also buy them. And let's see, where's... Uh, David Pilates. He was actually a police officer in what I believe is San Jose, California. And he started finding anomalies of people that were disappearing and either never returning or there was a pattern of them showing up face down in a water source without their shoes and socks on at best and without clothes at all at worst. But he followed a pattern, and if he has specific criteria, if the individual had any kind of trouble pass, if there was an explanation, if they had been reported uh, missing before, or there were other issues around it, there was any level of possibility of a, an explanation, then it just wasn't something that he delved into. But he started to see a lot of patterns around Yosemite and around uh, federal parks. So he, he moved forward to request FOIAs for missing individuals, and the federal park system refused to provide the FOIAs. In fact, they, don't, they won't produce public lists of those who've disappeared within the parks, and yet as he moved forward, the number was rising into the thousands of people who had disappeared within missing parks. But stranger still, there might be a family camping, and all of a sudden, one might disappear, and it might be a child. And then 
A few days later, the child would show up five, 10 miles away without shoes on in it in the you know poor weather how would the child have climbed up a mountain five or ten miles away from the family we as humans don't do that when we're lost we don't go up we go down we know to go down to a commonality of where people are and we know to go down to a water source and yet time and again he's resourced these phenomenons of, of what's what's really happening now of course uh, we go back to linda howe that i um i replaced that page with linda howe um, looks into the cattle situation what actually happens to the cattle on these planets another one within that was skinwalker ranch we know that bigelow had bought the property and um and it was became known as paranormal ranch it has now been sold off to another organization it's about 500 acres and it's in utah and there's a lot of anomalies there. In fact, there is a show out right now, I believe it's on the History Channel, that is highlighting what is really happening on that ranch as the research continues. Now, one of the points that they mentioned is that they've identified a flexion point about 5,000 feet off the ground in a particular location. One of the individuals was hit by a direct radiation target, a laser um, type item that went right through his body with multiple entry and entry points based on how his body was leaning. However, when they identified that the anomaly 5000 feet up, when they uh, they first start with a weather balloon with a GPS tracker, and then they went ahead and moved on to rockets. And yet, the items disappeared through the portal on days that you can see clear for five miles 5000 uh, um, I'm sorry, 5,000 feet is how far it was. You went on the days that you can see clear for five miles in any direction. 5,000 feet is a little less than one mile. There is no reason why you could see it and the items keep disappearing. There's something there. Remember the Tower of Babel? Just saying. Then, of course, we have Iseti Ranch. This is a phenomenal location with a lot of activity up in Washington. Iseti um, ranch is run by James Gilliland. He, of course, has As You Wish TV on YouTube. He opens up his ranch uh, for workshops, um, camping, and sky gazing. And if you're in the Northwest, this will change your life. I had the benefit of, of participating in a program there, specifically with remote viewing back in October with John Vivanco, and had the, the pleasure of talking to James Gilliland, his team, there's no doubt anymore of the truth that we are not alone and you will sit there with your own eyes and witness it yourself. Then, of course, we have Steve Greer. He is saying, hold on, wait a minute. Not everything out there is for our for us. Not everything is benevolent. So Dr. Greer was a, an emergency physician, very much a scientist, and uh, through a, a series of steps, he ended up debriefing presidents on UFO phenomenon that they could not get within their own, with their, with their own um, cl clearance that they had as presidents, because presidents don't have the top, top secret clearance that the military has. Presidents are transitional, so Dr. Greer would be called in to debrief them. As an American ufologist and retired traumatologist who founded the Center for Study of Extraterrestrial Intelligence, CSETI, and the Disclosure Project, which seeks the disclosure of allegedly classified secret UFO information. He has released a series of movies, and in fact, he's trying to get in front of the June release. The reason he's trying to get in front of it, one, is he wants to make sure it's released, and two, he is very much aware that this event is coming down the pike, this event of manipulation that is not necessarily um, tied to the UFO or UAP phenomenon, but it'd be another manipulation and fear on our planet. And he says, we need to step back, have discernment and know the truth, educate yourself before we have further manipulation. Who else do we have? Of course, we have Coast to Coast AM, which introduced us to these programs early, early on by just tuning into the radio. George Norrie is the host of the nationally syndicated program. And for those who uh, want to just get started, you can tie into uh, Coast to Coast AM. 
Um, it's local throughout the United States and most of the world can tie in. They also have portions of their programs on YouTube for listening. And of course, we have the beloved Art Bell, who unfortunately passed very suddenly. I believe that was about two years ago now, right within the sweep where we lost so many within the, the U, um, UFO community. Um, it was suggested, I believe, that he had a heart attack. And let me point out the um, that many have had heart attacks. Uh, even the mayor of San Francisco suddenly had a heart attack while shopping at a Safeway. And it was uh, released that the CIA has a tool that they can use to stop your heart. There's swarms of people who uh, passed about the same period of time and Art Bell was one of them. Great contributor. We also have Giorgio um, Sokolos. And of course, George Knapp here, Linda Moulton that we already mentioned, Linda Moulton Howe, Rush Limbaugh, and John Wells is speaking out quite a bit immediately now on YouTube, doing interviews leading into the release in June. Again, if you got your head in the sand, that doesn't mean it, it doesn't exist. This doesn't necessarily, there's a problem, but when something's being hidden from you and used as manipulation, it's time to pull your head up and start learning. We as humanity are very, very fortunate that we have a lot of leisure time right now. Unfortunately, most of that leisure time is spelt, spent on, on things that are not as beneficial. But at this time, you have time to read your Bible, to study who you are, to understand the universe, to answer the core questions, and set yourself right in this world. We have time. We've got the, the technology in order to reach out and learn anything that we need to to get our true questions answered. It's about re-educating yourself based in the truth, not on propaganda. So as we continue here, again, New York Post, um, April 30th, 2021, is talking more about the release. And here we've got, for those who are saying, well, this is just United States, what else do we have? We've got dark forces. I've... I've seen the top secret photos showing Britain's most significant UFO sighting. They left us shell shocked. This was Nick Pope, who I mentioned quickly on the other screen. Um, this was from October 10th, 2020. So what's that, seven months ago? And he has spoken quite a bit. He was the Ministry of Defense over in the UK and continues to talk about um, what they witnessed and documented. Here's, here's one of the particular instances and some overviews. So you can definitely find out more about UK. And then of course it came out, former Israeli space security chief says there are extraterrestrials. In December 9th, 2020, former Israeli space security chief says extraterrestrials exist and Trump knows about it. A galactic federation has been waiting for humans to reach a stage. So they're waiting for us. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure. I, I really think that the truth is the truth and the manipulation has hurt us because we as human beings are intuitive. We know the truth, we know lies, and it deeply hurts us to be separated from our core source. This has not helped us. Why are we paying to live on our own planet? All our resources, even if you buy a home, you pay property tax forever on that home. The, the use of gasoline rather than free renewable resources. Uh, there's a lot of information there that, that we want answers to. So here's some videos that were presented as well to substantiate UFOs in Jerusalem. And here's some more information from NBC News, former Israeli space security chief says extraterrestrials exist and Trump knows about it. Now the Galactic Federation has been referenced many, many times. We can see this in a variety of movies. You can, um, you know that um, Leak Project has referred to that. Of course, Corey Good has specifically spoken about being involved in the Galactic Federation. And we have, um, of scenes of Star Wars that, that hinted on that. We've got uh, a lot of different directions where the movies were telling us the truth and we're sliding into where that takes us. A Galactic Federation has been waiting for humans to reach a stage where we will understand what space and spaceships are, Haim Ashid said. 
And this was December 8th, 2020 again. There's a lot here as, as you continue to explore and, and figure out where you fit in this world. Don't, don't run away from because of propaganda. Use discernment. Center yourself in your body and figure out what your own truth were is. As soon as we figure out who we are, where we came from, and where we're going, our whole mind will shift as we can walk the line with our creator in truth rather than having bitten from the apple and living in a lie. Why is the Pentagon releasing a UFO report anyway? <laughs> 